The European Union has fired a shot across the bow of the Chinese auto industry. This bold move marks a significant escalation in the ongoing economic tensions between the two global powerhouses. The decision, which has been in the making for several months, comes after extensive deliberations and consultations with various stakeholders within the EU. Citing concerns over unfair competition, the European Commission imposed new tariffs on imported Chinese electric vehicles. These tariffs are seen as a protective measure aimed at shielding the European auto industry from what the EU perceives as predatory pricing practices by Chinese manufacturers. The Commission's investigation revealed that Chinese EVs were being sold at prices significantly lower than their production costs, thanks to substantial government subsidies. This move, designed to protect European automakers, has ignited a trade war with potentially global consequences. The ripple effects of this decision are expected to be felt far and wide, impacting not just the automotive sector, but also other industries intertwined with global trade. Analysts predict that this could lead to a series of retaliatory measures from China, further straining the already fragile trade relations between the two economic giants. The tariffs effectively increase the price of Chinese EVs sold in Europe, making them less competitive against European brands. This price hike is expected to shift consumer preferences towards locally manufactured vehicles, thereby boosting the sales of European automakers. However, this move has also raised concerns among European consumers who have benefited from the affordability of Chinese EVs. The increased prices may limit their options and potentially slow down the adoption of electric vehicles in the region. The EU argues that Chinese companies benefit from government subsidies, giving them an unfair advantage. These subsidies, which include tax breaks, grants, and other financial incentives, allow Chinese manufacturers to produce and sell EVs at lower prices, undermining fair competition. The European Commission's stance is that such practices distort the market and harm the competitiveness of European companies. In response, Chinese officials have vehemently denied these allegations, arguing that their subsidies are in line with international trade rules and are necessary to support the growth of their nascent EV industry. In conclusion, the imposition of new tariffs on Chinese electric vehicles by the European Union is a significant development in the global automotive industry. It highlights the growing economic rivalry between the EU and China and underscores the complexities of international trade in the modern era. As both sides brace for the potential fallout, the world watches closely, aware that the outcome of this trade dispute could reshape the future of the global auto market. China wasted no time in responding to the EU's tariffs. Beijing swiftly announced retaliatory tariffs on European goods, escalating the trade dispute. These countermeasures target key European exports, including automobiles and agricultural products. The impact on European automakers could be significant. China is a major market for European car manufacturers, particularly for luxury brands, these tariffs could dampen sales and hurt profits. The trade war highlights a critical vulnerability for Europe, its growing dependence on China's burgeoning EV industry. China has made significant investments in electric vehicle technology and manufacturing. This has made China a key player in the global supply chain for batteries, rare earth minerals, and other EV components. European automakers rely on these Chinese imports for their own electric vehicle production. German automakers, renowned for their high-end vehicles, are particularly vulnerable in this trade war. German luxury car brands enjoy significant market share in China. The retaliatory tariffs imposed by China could severely impact their sales and profitability. This comes at a time when German automakers are already grappling with the costly transition to electric vehicles. Section 5. Ripple Effects – Global Trade Braces for Impact the EU-China trade war over electric vehicles has sent shockwaves through the global economy. Other countries are closely watching the situation, concerned about the potential for collateral damage. The dispute could disrupt global supply chains, increase prices for consumers, and dampen economic growth. It also underscores the rising tensions between major economies in the race to dominate the electric vehicle market. Section 6. A Familiar Foe. The U.S. Watches and Waits. The United States, itself locked in a trade battle with China, is closely observing the unfolding situation. The trade war between the two largest economies in the world has been a significant point of contention, affecting global markets and international relations. 
The U.S. administration has imposed tariffs on a wide range of Chinese goods, citing unfair trade practices and intellectual property theft. In response, China has retaliated with its own tariffs, leading to a tit-for-tat escalation that has left businesses and consumers caught in the crossfire. The U.S. has also expressed concerns about China's trade practices and its support for domestic industries. American officials argue that China's state subsidies and market restrictions give its companies an unfair advantage in the global marketplace. This has led to calls for a more level playing field, with the U.S. pushing for reforms that would open up China's markets to foreign competition and reduce the role of state-owned enterprises. The stakes are high, as the outcome of these negotiations could reshape the global economic landscape for years to come. While not directly involved in the current dispute, the U.S. could be drawn into the fray. The interconnected nature of the global economy means that any disruption in trade between major players like China and its trading partners can have ripple effects that reach American shores. U.S. businesses that rely on global supply chains could face increased costs and uncertainty, while consumers might see higher prices for goods ranging from electronics to clothing. The potential for a broader economic slowdown adds to the urgency of finding a resolution. The escalating trade tensions between major economies threaten to undermine the rules-based global trading system. The World Trade Organization, which has long been the arbiter of international trade disputes, finds itself under pressure as countries resort to unilateral measures and bilateral deals. The U.S. has been a vocal critic of the WTO, arguing that it has failed to address the challenges posed by China's rise. As the situation evolves, the future of global trade governance hangs in the balance, with potential consequences for economic stability and growth worldwide. Section 7. Navigating the Storm Potential Solutions and Future Scenarios The EU-China trade war presents a complex challenge with no easy solutions. Dialogue and diplomacy are crucial to de-escalating the situation and finding common ground. Both sides have an interest in resolving the dispute as continued escalation would harm all parties involved. Finding a way to ensure fair competition while promoting the growth of the electric vehicle industry is paramount. Section 8. The High Cost of Competition Consumers Caught in the Crossfire While governments and corporations grapple with the complexities of the trade war, the impact of these high-stakes negotiations extends far beyond the boardrooms and political arenas. It is ultimately consumers who bear the brunt of the conflict. The average person who may not fully understand the intricacies of international trade policies feels the effects in their daily lives. The tariffs imposed by both sides translate into higher prices for electric vehicles. These price hikes are not just numbers on a sticker, they represent a significant financial burden for families who are already struggling to make ends meet. This could dampen demand for EVs, hindering the transition to cleaner transportation. The dream of a greener future with reduced carbon emissions and less reliance on fossil fuels, becomes harder to achieve when the cost of entry is so high. It also raises concerns about affordability and accessibility of electric vehicles, particularly for lower-income households. For many, the promise of an electric vehicle is not just about environmental benefits, but also about long-term savings on fuel and maintenance. However, these benefits are out of reach if the initial cost is prohibitive. Families are left in a difficult position, having to weigh the immediate financial strain against the long-term advantages of owning an electric vehicle. The emotional toll is palpable, as parents worry about making the best decision for their children's future. Meanwhile, government officials and corporate executives continue to debate and negotiate, often without fully considering the human element of their decisions. The focus remains on economic indicators and political leverage, rather than on the everyday lives of the people they serve. In communities across the country, local leaders and activists are stepping up to address these concerns. They are advocating for policies that will make electric vehicles more affordable and accessible to all, regardless of income level. Grassroots movements are gaining momentum, with citizens coming together to demand change. Petitions are being signed, meetings are being held, and voices are being raised in unison, calling for a fairer, more equitable approach to the transition to electric vehicles. The hope is that through collective action and persistent advocacy, the barriers to electric vehicle ownership can be lowered, allowing more families to participate in the shift towards a sustainable future. The vision is clear. 
a world where clean transportation is not a luxury, but a standard accessible to everyone. It's a vision that requires cooperation, compassion, and a commitment to putting people first in the pursuit of progress. Section 9. A Call for Cooperation Towards a More Stable EV Future The current trade war highlights the urgent need for greater international cooperation in the electric vehicle sector. Rather than resorting to protectionist measures, countries should work together, sharing technology, coordinating regulations, and promoting fair trade practices can foster a more stable and sustainable EV market. This will benefit consumers, businesses, and the environment in the long run.